Hi, this is Shirley, the herb lady from Alaska. And this month, it's been 54 years in Alaska. So, seems like yesterday we drove up the Alaskan Highway. I discovered herbs in Alaska. So, today we're going to talk about recover. And recover is, if you have any pain, this would really, really help you. It's got like 10 different oils. What happens is all the oils for pain. And it really helps to put it in a roll-on, put about 10 drops in the roll-on, and roll it on you wherever you have the pain, and you will see such a difference. And if you don't have a roll-on, then just put it on the bottom of your feet, because on the bottom of your feet, like what I have taught you, it goes every place in the body. And so um, you got nerve endings on the bottom of your feet, that will just take it to the certain places there is. Recover. It's a essential oils that contains 10 essential oils uh, that you apply topical for pain relieving and infl anti-inflammation. It gets cooling and then it gets warm. The first one is wintergreen. Wintergreen that's in it is almost entirely um, has a silicate um, which is a, it's a name for aspirin and it acts like aspirin for pain and but it's natural it and um, it helps with the muscle and joint pain inflammation and if you combine it with peppermint it even gets stronger okay the second one is white camphor camphor it has been long used it's rich in pain blocking, muscle relaxant, anti-inflammation. Research shows that camphor alleviates pain by acting as a conterrant, which applied to the skin. Camphor first produces a cool sensation, followed by a feeling warm. And it does sensory, it works with the sensory nerves. The nerves located in the outer layer, layer of the skin that is senses to heat, pain, and it, it's given a, um, it helps to relieve pain and inflammation associated with muscle aches, arthritis, and rheumatism. The third one is rosemary. Rosemary research indicate that rosemary essential oil demonstrates potential getting rid of pain anti-inflammation anti-spasmodic the europe medicine agent ema recommends rosemary to relieve minor muscle and joint pain and rosemary is used a topical for circulation and nervous disorders including arthritis gout inflammation, rheumatism, nerve pain, and neck pain. My mom used to have a stiff neck all the time when she, uh, I think that only happened to me once or twice, but do you rub oils? Uh, I, when you rub oils on the back of your neck, it, it, it increases the circulation, and then the pain just goes away, and it just makes it so nice. Okay, the, the fourth one is, um, Callop is essential oil that has been used in Asia. Um, it works with rheumatoid headaches, gout, and joint pain. It's anti-inflammation. It's a warming. It's, um, it's the stuff that they put in ti Tiger Bomb. So it's good for headaches, leg cramps, joint stiffness, muscle, joint pain, sports injury, including bruising and sprain and pull, pull muscles and ligaments. The fifth one is fur. Fur needle, needle is a long history used in the Russian and European spas as a massage liniment. Fur oil has been used to increase the blood flow to the skin and recommended for 
arthritis, fibromyalgia. Um, research has confirmed that fur, that fur, fur oil contains different chemicals which helps gets rid of inflammation and pain. Number six is clove. Clove oil perhaps is well known to relieve toothache, but numerous studies have action has clove oil confirming with inflammation, edema, um, reduces fluid swelling, retention, and anti and spasmodic. It helps with inflammation, pain, cramps, spasms, and helps to relieve menstruation pain. Number six is helichrysum. Helichrysum, uh, that's the one oil, most oils you should use, you know, within six months to a year, unless you keep them in a dark area. But helichrysum, longer you hold on to it, stronger it gets, and that's the only oil there is like that. But helichrysum gets stronger as you uh, as it gets older, and helichrysum is known at, at, at being immortal or everlasting. Uh, it's anti-inflammation, anti-spasmodic. It relieves muscle pain, sprains, sprains, joint pains, inflammation, wound healing. Used as a compress for soft tissue. It prevents bru bruising and swelling. Number eight is ju juniper berries. Juniper essential oils is for arthritis um, and rheumatoid. And due to it, it's a warming effect and it helps to stimulate circulation. Also, it, it's anti inflammation. Also, it's, um, it helps with um, spasms. Number eight is peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is provide for anti-inflammation, anti-spasmodic. Peppermint has been employed as a clinical ingredient and in the treatment of arthritis and other conditions. Long history of external intention, headaches, migraines, muscle aches, toothaches, menstruation pain. Human studies have shown that the topical application of peppermint oil was effective to reduce symptoms of tension, headaches. In one clinic trial, peppermint oil reduced headaches intensely after 15 minutes and was Cause it caused the local blood vessels to dilate, producing both uh, the effect of the cooling effect, but it caused the blood vessels to dilate. And it says that is it just as effective or more effective than Tylenol? It just stimulates the cold receptors on the skin. It helps to reduce the fevers soothe sunburn and ease hot flash. And number 10 is frankincense. Frankincense is, everybody should have frankincense in their house. If you fall, put frankincense. You can put it on your head, you can put it on your cyst, you can put it on your tumor. Frankincense, it, I've had such wonderful testimonies. People will come in and one guy, I've never forgot him, he came in in six hours. He said, that knot underneath my armpit went away. And he passed it around to his friends. He had five other friends. All together, six people used the bottle. And he brought it back and he said, only half of it's gone. And he said, it has helped six people. And he was so impressed with it. He said, this stuff really works. And I went, when God makes something, he makes it good. So, but see, people have to learn to use it and keep using it. Just because it doesn't work the first time, what you do is you keep using it till, because a lot of times you can have maybe, you can have cream on your skin or you could have, maybe your, your skin is not absorbing it. I mean, there's so many reasons why oils don't work, but if you use them correctly, they do work. 
Uh, frankincense is one of the most popular oils and has been, been used for extremely relieving aches, pains, inflammation. You can even use them on your animals. It's found to have anti-inflammation. Um, also uh, anti-spasmodic. I hope you've enjoyed about recovery. Remember, recovery is something, it's got the tin oils in there that takes pain away. And now, uh, if something's causing the pain, you have to go after the cause. But this one will take care of the inflammation and everything like that. Uh, but you could be eating something incorrectly too. Like dairy products will cause inflammation, sugar will cause inflammation. Uh, anything that's 5 pH, like caffeine, will cause inflammation. So you need to look around and see what you're doing wrong and do it right, and then you feel good. And if anyone has testimonies on this recovery that I have been teaching on, please leave the testimony in the comments below. Thank you.